today we're going to be talking about um, the use of place value disks in the classroom. Place value disks, just like base 10 blocks, are used to model, add and subtract numbers. They are non-proportional models used to further develop place value understanding. Prior to using place value disks with your students, your students should be proficient with the use of base 10 blocks in your classroom. Base 10 blocks are the proportional model used to compose and decompose numbers. So why are base 10 blocks proportional and why are place value disks non-proportional? With base 10 blocks, we say that there is a proportional relationship because there is a 1 to 10 relationship in regards to their size. It will take 10 units to make up one 10 long. The 10 long is 10 times larger than the unit to the right. The same relationship here occurs. It takes 10 longs to make up one flat. Therefore, the flat is 10 times larger than the 10 long to the right of it. This is why they have a proportional relationship. They're 10 times larger than the unit to the right. When we're looking at place value disks, we say that they have a non-proportional relationship because um, of the size of each of the place value disks. So if we have a 1, we have a 10, and we have a 100 place value disk, you can see that they're all the same size. The 1, the 10, and the 100. The 10 place value disk is not 10 times larger than the 1 to the right. The 100 place value disk is not 10 times larger than the 10 place value disk to the right. This is why they have a non-proportional relationship. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of activities that you can do with your students um, using the place value disks. The first one is simply um, composing or de decomposing numbers. Here we have a scenario. You never want to use naked numbers. You want students to have some sort of context. Um, the problem says, Christian has blank mods for his Minecraft game. Represent how many mods he has using place value disks. And you can use number cards or you can use um, number cubes for students to create their numbers. So now this is the number card that, I, that the student may just pick up from a stack. And it now says Christian has 286 mods for his Minecraft game. So the students need to represent 286 using place value disks. There's 200. Eighty, so the student can represent 286 using the concrete objects of place value disks and then you can have them do a pictorial representation in their journals or um, if you handed out a, a sheet or if you have a laminated sheet for them to work on um, if this is a workstation. Okay? Here's a little uh, variation on the use of place value disks. It's the same problem. I've changed it a little bit. It says, Christian has blank mods for his Minecraft game. His friend Adrian has 100 more mods. 
represent how many mods Adrian has using place value disks. So in this case, again, students can either roll die to create numbers or they can um, use number cards that are pre-created by the teacher and pre-cut and um, use those for the problems. And so you have multiple, multiple problems um, with different numbers. And you can say use the same scenario, but you have different numbers every time. And this would work well in a workstation. Christian has 173 mods for his Minecraft game. His friend Adrian has 100 more mods. So the student now has to represent 173 and then add 100 more mods for our Christian's friend Adrian. So we're going to have to represent 100 There's 173, that's how many Christian has, and his friend Adrian has 100 more. They can add 100 more, or they can add 10 tens and then regroup that way. Um, it just depends on the student. And then you can have them do a pictorial representation, you can have them do a, a number sentence with this one. Um, so there's different things that they can do. Okay, thank you.